Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Who of you have heard about 3D printing? Yeah, I'm sorry to tell you, it's a hype. <laughs> but for a very good reason. Yeah, it's true, 3D printing is more than 30 years old. And it's also true that 3D printing is certainly no the panacea for all human problems. But do not make the mistake and underestimate this technology, because 3D printing has come to stay. But how to best approach this technology after the hype, and how to realistically approach this technology? First of all, it's quite important to understand that 3D printing is not one technology, but it's more used as an umbrella term for plenty of different technologies, which basically adds up material layer after layer to print a three-dimensional object. And second, 3D printing is like no other technology based on the mastery of more than one discipline, like robotics, like material science, like computer science, and a very important but often overseen ingredient called creativity, designing, and art. So let me give you an example. In human life, there have also always been some specialists, very intelligent and very engaged human beings, which engage deeply in one single task. They reach a huge expertise in one discipline. When it comes to innovation, they often create something new by discovering some new knowledge within a certain discipline. But on the other hand, there have always been some generalists too. Humans who jump from one task to another and have some certain insights within more than one discipline. But most often, they do not go below a certain deepness. Let's call the first one vertical innovators. And the second one, the generalists, horizontal innovators. But only every now and then, there comes a polymath. Polymaths are extraordinary people who master more than one discipline. They are the embodiment of an horizontal and vertical innovator in one single person. There is a very famous example, Leonardo da Vinci. He was the embodiment of an artist, an engineer, and a scientist. And it was exactly this multidisciplinary approach which made him so successful. When it comes to manufacturing, there's a quite similar analogy. We have very specialized technologies, like injection molding, which are perfect to mass produce one kind of product in, thousands, in a huge value. On the other hand, we have craftsmanship. Craftspeople are people who are very good in producing one single good very individualistically, exactly as you like it to have. But every now and then, there comes a technology which can combine automation and individualization. When you think of data or knowledge, the computer or the internet has certainly been such a technology. When it comes to physical goods, 3D printing is the answer. But what, what does this have to do with the former example of polymath? And this is the third ingredient of 3D printing. Because 3D printing is so universal that when you combine it with the deep insights of another discipline, you can achieve a lot in more than one industry. So what does this mean for manufacturers? Right now, manufacturers look at their existing product portfolio. They pick up some certain part and try to 3D print it. But normally, they quickly get quite disappointed because it's much more expensive and it takes a lot of time. What did they do wrong? We need to understand that an existing product is almost ever already optimized in a vertical way. So manufacturers need to rethink their product line, or maybe even the whole value chain, in order to create something new. Let me give you a hands-on example. For thousands of years, humans have used ceramic-based materials to create artful and very individualistic pottery. Later, we automated this process to create thousands of similar cups. So does it make sense to replace the artist with a 3D printer? Certainly not. Does it make sense to replace a perfect mass manufacturing system with a 3D printer? Not at all. But when you add to automation, creativity, and individuality, and material science, some other discipline like medicine, something wonderful will come out. Like this, 
3D printed ceramic bone implant, which not only behaves quite similar to the human bone, it also gets slowly absorbed by the human body and replaced with own bone material. This implant was printed by Alitos Serafab Ceramic 3D Printer, and it's a very individualistic product, exactly for your body. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be like Leonardo da Vinci. Don't use a new tool just to replace an existing solution. Let's go out there and solve some new problems. Thank you very much.